biggest problem an architect has is getting from the screen into physical space. How do I bring some of that virtual stuff and lock it to a physical model to give us a sense of scale, proportion, form, and space? Microsoft HoloLens is a wearable computer that lets you see holograms mixed with reality. It actually changes the way you think about design. I live here in Venice, California. I teach at UCLA in the old Howard Hughes hangar. We were asked by the American Pavilion at the Venice Biennale of Architecture to be imaginative and show what's coming with architecture. And we were given a mile-long building in Detroit that's been abandoned for 50 years to use our imaginations on. I'd known about the Trimble-Microsoft partnership on the HoloLens and was just itching to find the right project to do a pilot with it. So we built a model, but we used HoloLens to get us inside some of those spaces. I didn't know how big our site was compared to corporate headquarters or museums. With Trimble Connect, I can look up and grab different buildings to compare. We could just pull a model and duplicate it and see that it would take 12 Tate Moderns to fill the site. That brought it to life in terms of use. Microsoft HoloLens lets us get inside stuff earlier and experience it, and I can look up and see the volume that I'm in and start to make decisions about how to design it. Without a HoloLens, I would have been making those decisions three, four months from now. But with the HoloLens, I'm making those decisions at the moment of inception. In the redesign of the Packer plant, showing the dynamics is something that's very hard to do. HoloLens immediately solved that problem, and it explained why things were the way they were, because they were meant for vehicles and people to move around. I've spent my whole life trying to get things from geometry into the physical world. HoloLens is going to bridge that gap between the two-dimensional and the three-dimensional and physical space. And that's architecture. It's a revolution. Great. All right. Last video. I know we're not doing Keith and Krupp, so let's get, uh, make sure we get the right one here. Volvo is really a human-centric company. That's the core focus of everything we've done in terms of the products we develop, but also the way we interact with their customers. All people know that we stand for safety, but Volvo is so much more. HoloLens helps us to push the envelope on innovation for our customers. The HoloLens is a device that you put on your head and it doesn't intrude in any of the things you do but it also extends the realities around you. You can do something you could never do before. You can see the soul of the car. You can strip the body out and stay with the skeleton. And you, you can play around with it. The HoloLens can allow our customers to see features, colors, options. So rather than working on the computer, seeing things, you can be part of the experience. No one understands how car sensors actually work today. Through the HoloLens, you can see how the car perceives you. And then you, know, you give me, as a human being, the vantage point of a sensor. It helps to build a much better trust in this type of system. For example, you see a car coming in front of you. The car has features that could aid in that situation. We have a lot of features that we don't necessarily want you to experience it all but it's part of our proposition. You're buying into the safest car brand in the world. One of the great things that was said to us by Volvo when we started this was that uh, Volvo loves technology, but only if it makes people's lives simpler. Microsoft HoloLens lets people take imagination and make it real much more efficiently and in a much more collaborative manner. HoloLens will not only help us in the car buying process at the dealership, it can evolve into many areas. We think there are many alternative applications of this tool in the future, and Volvo clearly has an aspiration to, to break out of the pack. It's, um, it's cool.
it's it's way cool. 